Good morning Year 6, it is Wednesday the 3rd of March and today we're going to be solving some missing angle problems. For this you will identify the angle facts you need within the questions and you'll need to refer to the information that you have been gaining across this week so far. So angles of on a straight line, angles around a point, angles within polygons and thinking about today intersecting lines and the angles on them. We are going to be unpicking a question to help us with our understanding and we're also going to be using a bar model to represent our workings and to show the understanding of the method that we are completing to get to, to, get to answer the questions successfully. So at this point in the lesson you should have already completed your arith arithmetic practice and marked that so we can get straight on to the learning today. Okay, so we have a picture here of um, some angles around a point. Um, and just to point out here, we actually have two intersecting lines. And so that's where two lines are crossing. You can see them here. So I'd like you to have a look at the angles on these intersecting lines around this point. Uh, what's similar about these angles and what is different? Pause the video and have a think to yourself what that could be. Okay, so what you should have started to think about and look through is that the fact that we have two obtuse angles around this point, on, around these intersecting lines, and we also have two acute angles. You might have also noticed that actually on these intersecting lines, and I might do this in different colours so you're, you can see it a bit clearer, that we've actually got two of these angles, the acute and obtuse angle, which will make up a straight line 180 degrees, and the other two obviously 180 degrees on the other side. And obviously we know about around the point there is 360 degrees of angle. So um, there's lots of things you can see from this diagram already. And you might have spotted as I started to identify the acute and obtuse angles, that these angles are actually very similar in size. In fact, um, if we look at our help sheet, opposite angles on intersecting lines are the same, they are equal. So you can see from this diagram up here that we've got this angle, the acute angle A, is the same as this acute angle A here. And then B, the both obtuse angles, are the same in measurement and in size, so exactly the same. So that will be a really extra bit um, of information that you can draw it upon when you're problem solving today. So the first part of your task is, in, on your sheets today is just to have a look at that knowledge of intersecting lines and the fact that opposite angles are the same, just to help you solve some quite straightforward calculations. So um, if we have a look at this one, the, the very basic question saying calculate what x is. Well, we can see that x here is opposite to our 40 degree angle here, our acute angle. So straight away from this knowledge up here, we can identify that this angle of X is actually 40 degrees because opposite angles are equal. Now we could do a lot more to find out all the other angles on this diagram also. Um, and some of the questions might ask you that to do as well. So if we go back to what we were talking about just previously, remembering that we've also got these, these intersecting lines creating um, angles along the straight line, making 180 degrees. So we've already got part of our angle, part of our straight line here. So then we can identify what the other angle is. If we know that along a straight line, it totals 180 degrees. So we should already be able to identify we've got 140 degrees here because obviously quick calculators out there, you've got 140 degrees plus 40 degrees will give you your 180 degrees straight line measurement there. Um, and therefore, we can straight away know, even if we hadn't calculated this, we obviously could do the same thing as we've just done up here, but the opposite angles are the same. So the, the obtuse angle up down below here is going to be 140 degrees also. And we can check it because obviously 140 and our 40, which is our newfound angle X, together will be 180 degrees. And if we wanted to double check it all, 
round our point, we would know that all of these angles added together will give us 360. So I've given you lots of um, additional information to refresh your knowledge on angles along the straight line, angles around a point. So having just had a quick look at this one, you are now ready to go to your worksheet from today and have a look at task one. There's only four um, questions to do there, nice and quick, and then resume the video when you are ready. Okay, so hopefully you've now had a go at task one, checked your answers, know you're on track, um, and so you're ready for some more problem solving. So uh, this is on your sheet actually, so I, I would encourage you to get that up and have it at the same time that we're going through the obviously the answers from the last task with us there. So here's this picture that we've just been looking at. And um, we can do this at the same time. I'll give you some chance to pause and annotate around this diagram. So to look at this diagram, and I want you to start thinking about what can you see that you already know about angles that you can start pinpointing and putting onto your information sheet. Now, at this point in the week, you might think, oh, I can't really see very much to notice, um, so I can't really annotate it so well. But I will go through that, and then over the next two days, when we come back to problems like this, you'll hopefully be more fluid at doing things, at annotating it yourself. So pause the video. Just first of all, what do you notice? Are there any, any angle facts that you can find out within this problem? Okay, so I'm gonna go through what I've identified and um, you might have had some other things that are similar or some other different things, but this will help you before you even get into what could the question be, um, just to start thinking about what you can see. So you might have spotted these things. So first of all, you might have spotted that on this diagram, we have some obtuse angles. So I've got one there and we've got one here. Uh, so here we've got here. Um, oh, I've also noticed that we have got around this shape, and I'm going to try and do this in straight lines, but it's quite tricky to see. You can see that we've got one, two looked initially like a triangle but actually three four sided shapes so i've got a four sided shape here and i know that a four sided shape its interior angles will total up to 360 degrees so there's something else i start to find out about this diagram already other things i can notice well i have spotted within this diet in, in this diagram i've spotted an acute angle. In fact, I have actually spotted some further ones. You might have spotted them too. They're not actually marked on this diagram. I'm going to put them in a different colour so you can see them. But I can see there's one there and there's one over there. And looking at them, there's something I can notice about those also. So another thing I might have spotted, well, I can see some right angles. I'm going to change the colour of my line now because it's getting a bit busy with the with that color um, red. So I can spot some right angles and I know that a right angle symbol will tell me that that's 90 degrees in there. Okay, so we've got that so far. And then I've got one thing that I keep thinking, oh, well, I'm just noticing that. We've got some intersecting lines. Now I will try and put those intersecting lines in a complete different color if I can, it's clear enough for you to see. So we've got one crossing there, a crossing over here. So two intersecting lines here um, between, I guess, my angle and my shape, my polygon. Um, I know something about intersecting lines that the opposite angles are equal. So I've got two obtuse angles and that those two, two obtuse angles are equal to each other. And I found those two acute angles, if you remember, and those two acute angles are also opposite to each other. So I know that they're going to be the same. So so much information I can just already gather and I haven't even looked at what the question is. And the other thing that I could know about these on these intersecting lines is I've got some angles around a point. So there's my point there. Just about to see it. And I've got some angles around that point and my full turn is going to be 360. So Already, I've pulled out lots and lots of information just by looking at the um, diagram that I can see. 
about this problem and I probably am pretty well prepared now to attempt any question that comes up but I wonder if you can pause the video now and maybe note down on your sheet what you think the question could be asking you to find in this problem. Okay so there could be quite a few things it might be asking you I will start um, annotating this so it might be asking you to find this acute angle with the information you've been given it might be asking you to find one of these obtuse angles because you don't know what they are now I I'm doubting it whether it'll be asking me to find these acute angles here just purely because they haven't been labeled on my diagram but you never know so it could be asked to identify the acute angles if it was really challenging me um, it could be asking me something about can you find um, the angles on the interior of this uh, quadrilateral that you can see this polygon this four-sided polygon that you can see perhaps it might um, obviously, for some of those questions I've just talked about, there will need to be additional information given to you so that you can be successful in solving it. But already you can start unpicking all of the information that you're going to need to be able to solve this problem correctly. And that will really help you today so that you can be well equipped before you even start solving the problem. So today's problem is the, big, the first part of the problem is this. You have actually been given one of the obtuse angles and it asks you to calculate the size of the angles in of A and of B. So you have already probably unpicked some of the information you will need to be able to be successful at doing that. So once you have got this problem solved, you are going to be working around, and I'm just sorry, go back to your sheet here. So the, it says, um, I need to draw your attention to the fact that it, it says up here, question two, and um, that's just because it's been cut and pasted from the question um, from the question it came from. But the first thing you need to do is work out the answer to this question too, as such, um, by calculating the angles A and B. And then it kind of talks about what would happen if some of the information was changed in this question. Um, number three, kind of what would happen if the question was this instead of the, the uh, initial question and what would happen if the question was this as part four and as always the answers can be found at the bottom of your sheet so remember go back to this diagram if you need to or what you've done on your sheet to refresh your memory on all the things that will help you be successful at completing this problem and then as always remember to send your your work into your class teacher at the end of today's task goodbye for now